Hi everyone, I'm Fate Touched, and this is me playing games, and we are on Mystery Trackers 2, Rain Cliff, which is very suspiciously like Mystery Case Files, Ravenhurst. But this one is taking place in cold, and she is op punk. And it's got blue roses around the bonus content, so I assume that's going to be important later. But I have no idea what this game is about, so let's start. We're only going to play the demo, by the way, because I already played a bonus from an earlier game today. University bus vanished. On the university bus, a towncraft of Raven, the town of Ravencliff was the last place it was seen. Raincliff. I'm going to say Ravencliff. Call the police immediately if you have any information on the whereabouts of the bus or its passengers. I think it was the dude in the hat. If the other games have taught me anything, the dude in the hat is always the bad guy. No, please. No interactive help. Ah, no lock button on that. Dang. Maybe in the next game. All right, so now I guess we are in the town of Raincliff. It didn't really tell us. Is that a broken video camera? Just gonna go through a dude's trunk. Okay. I guess the only thing we know is that there's a bus that disappeared in the town of Raincliff, and uh, that's all. Wait, what? Oh my gosh, you're right. Those were the same balls. The football was the last one I picked. You're right. It's exactly the same. I remember the curly light bulb. Holy crow. That is funny. Oh my gosh. Guys, really? Now, also, it's going to be sad that I can't find everything since I already did this. Once. But at the same time, that's, that's pretty sad. You you guys can do better. Like, you, you guys can do better. That's funny. Oh, we're going to have to see if they do that with any of the other things. I mean, I'm assuming not, but who knows? It's weird. Before he said that, I'm like, wow, this is like the balls and the football. And like my brain was going, something's wrong here. And like, I just did not pick up on that. Hey, we still have our frog friend. I wonder if he's like the mascot for the series. Is that a tie? No. See, like I did this before, but you would think that it would make it easier to do it this time. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be an actual reason for him to be here, but that's okay. All right, so we need a disc saw, a brush and a tie. And that's not the tie. And this camera flashing down here? Oh, it's stopped. Good. Nope, there it went again. That's really irritating me, and I don't know why. Uh, a tie. Why do I have such a hard time finding ties? Like, it's not just in this game. Oh, there it is, right there. Okay. I don't remember if that's the thing we found in the last game, but definitely. What is this nonsense? Yeah, see, that's the bad guy because he's got a hat. And these are the hapless university students. Look at this, the built-in TV set still works. That's odd, somebody must have switched it on recently. They're, this type of car never had a television set in it. Can I use that? I bet it could. Run, run as fast as you can. The survivors of this Bartholomew's Day won't say a word about it. Nobody would believe them. Fortunately, I reached the car in time and they didn't notice me. What? Okay. St. Bartholomew's Day. I have heard of that before, but that's... I have no idea what that is. What happened to Raincliff? Ten years have passed since the citizens left. The streets and houses are deserted. Random travelers call Raincliff a haunted town. They say that any person who dares step into the city streets will face unknown powers. Here's the word of a witness. 
A frog! Oh, okay. There must be a tool to unfasten this hose. Why do I need a hose? Oh, this I can use this on. Gonna let me keep the blood saw? Oh, the disc broke. That's cheating. Turnpike booth has long since been forgotten. Someone left a fire hook in it. Why would there... Possible to lower the ladder? Oh, I need the hook for the ladder. Well, I guess let's go this way. The front door has been barred shut, but the side door is standing open. A kitty! The cat is frightened and won't let me grab it. Maybe a carrier of some kind would work. Your kitty's gonna be cold. You can't stay out here, kitty. What happens if I press this? Oh no. Okay, this is just the the movies. Okay, so I don't have to re We don't have a ton of reading in this one, which is probably good. Is there nothing in here? This scene looks really familiar. I might have played this one before. Hey! Get out and never come back. What just happened? That knife nearly killed me. Is some power trying to hold me back or could that be a warning? W wait, that would be both of those things. <laughs> yeah, right? Maybe if I find some food, the raven will drop the key. Okay. It just occurred to me that if I own this game, I probably played it before, but I remember nothing about it. Did I find anything interesting in there? A broken knife. Can I use it to break the glass? I certainly could. It's a person! Oh, we get real... <laughs> Apparently! There's something between the stones. Like a knife? Oh. No. Not like a knife. Hey, they took my knife. Is, is this a favorite of yours, my dear? There's a small cache here. I need to break away the plaster. With a brick! No? Alright. Everyone knows that FMVs are the future of video games. <laughs> okay, whatever you say. He's the first witness. He's not himself because of the, his panicking fear. <laughs> I must get inside to talk to him. Figure out what's going on. Okay. Well, I could break the door down, but that seems counterproductive. There's way too much to melt the frozen fountain. I can take fresh water from here, but there's nothing to open the tap. Missing. Helmut Jansen, a local pharmacist, was kidnapped from his own house. If you have any information about his whereabouts, please contact the Raincliff Sheriff. He looks like a pleasant person. Okay, we need another thingy doodle. This is a very weird town. The shop window is really beautiful, but the lights are out. I need a bulb or I won't see anything. Okay. How am I getting things through the glass? Am I just pointing at them and going, ooh, look? <laughs> okay, sure. Lipstick? No. Lipstick? No. Camera. There's a big diamond again. I wonder if almost all of these assets are from the last game, now that we found that one game was actually exactly the same. Be interesting to see. Okay, yeah, I know. And a cherub. I thought I clicked on him. And a cherub. And a cherub? No. And a cherub. Yes. Why isn't that one a cherub? Okay. And a key. I saw the key already. Dagnabbit, where is it? Oh, I hate it when I do that. Yep, there it is. Five stars. One. Two. Three. That diamond was definitely in the last game. Four. Five. And a gas mask, which is right here. That's on the outside. And a three, which is also on the outside. Clothes pin, lipstick, camera. Oh, and a heart. The heart's right there. And a shell. I didn't look for the shell. There's a mask. 
There's lots of masks, actually. This is a mask shop, by the looks of it. Okay. Oh, there's the clothespin. I'm pointing right at it. Right, so we have lipstick, camera, ribbon, cherub, shell. Lipstick, camera, ribbon, cherub, shell. Shell. I still think that's a cherub. Wait, there's a cherub. Lipstick, camera, ribbon. There's the lipstick. It actually looks like a thermos, but that's fine. Oh, there's a camera. Uh, and a ribbon. Ribbon? Yes. Okay. I found the gas mask. Okay, at least the gas mask was on the outside. The cable may be useful, but it's lodged in the lion's mouth. Maybe a ring through the lion's nose will help? What's the thought process there? In order to get the ball from the bowl, I need a special tool. Like a brick. <laughs> oh no! It's a plague doctor! Scary! How should I lift the gate to catch the phantom? It wasn't a phantom, it was a dude in a mask. Uh, what do I have now? I have a brick. I know what to do with the brick. Even though it won't let me do multiple things with the brick. There we go. Now I can get this down. Which is gonna help me get to the second floor. What's over here? This is the only window looking out onto the street. I can't reach it with a ladder. Oh, oh wow, there aren't any other windows there. Wait. Oh, I can reach it with a ladder. All of these windows are boarded up. That's very weird. Yeah, no, no, I got it. I wasn't understanding the situation. What on earth? This room belonged to the policeman. A strange fire is burning in the fireplace. Oh, for heaven's sakes. No, no, it's not gonna let me book again. Did someone try to burn things in the fireplace? I should extinguish the fire. I mean, it might be heating the house. Did you ever think of that? Okay. The policeman's pirates. That's how you can tell it was a policeman. A shotgun shell, and I need something to open that, and there's a gun on the table that I'm not going to take. Report by Sheriff of Raincliffe, page two. We request that you elevate the status of the situation in Raincliffe to emergency. People are dying. We need to bring national troops into town and send a group of professionals who are able to investigate paranormal activity and take measures to... And then he kept typing but signed his name at the bottom. He signed his name at the bottom, even though he stopped typing, and even though... Okay, nope, we're just going to keep going. Open the gun, safe is not... The gun is right there! Look, it's a pirate. An effigy of a wooden-legged pirate with a missing hand. Yes, you're right. I don't understand. Okay, so we have tongs. Which we can't use on the fire. We have to put the fire out. JRPT. <laughs> I could use the tongs to get the kitty. It's probably not a good idea. Uh, I can't use the tongs to get the bird either, probably. What did I need to do in here? Oh, I need something to open that with. And a skull. This game is giving me a little bit more direction, at least. No key would fit. I need to pick the lock. Oops. Too many clicks. Wait, what? What do you mean half your letters are missing? Oh! I thought, like, they were just gone. <laughs> nope. Okay, that's not the special tool. Huh. That's all the information you're gonna give me, huh? Alright. Oh, can I use this to get whatever that is? Yes, okay. I think you type too much, too. Also, we tend to be very hard on things because we have a problem with, like, how much pressure we need to put on stuff. Oh, it's one of these puzzles. These are actually kind of fun, but at the same time, this might take a while. Can I... Oh, and I can turn them. Dang, that's even worse. Okay. Oh, it's putting them back in the right order, though. Okay, hang on. That means... Oh, no, it's not going to put them back in different places, though. Well, ah. Nope. 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 Aha, that one might work. Do I have any other ones? 
This one might also work. You go down there. Okay, so I have two options. That's option one. Now I have to find pink with red in the other direction. The one in the upper left doesn't work. This one? Ah, stop that. Oh, oh, you're right. I'm an idiot. Thank you. Remember the dyslexia thing? Yeah, it messes with my brain. Okay, so now I have red and pink, but in the other order, like that. Nope. Yay. Okay, and then yellow and pink. Yellow and pink. Yellow and pink. Oh, that works. Yellow and pink. Yep. Okay. Red and yellow. Oh, and that's yellow and red. There we go. Okay, I mean green and yellow and blue. Green. That one's a, why is this one a different color? Well, that's not the right one, but it is the right one. So, apparently at least it's going to tell me when I put the correct one in the correct place. That's very nice of it. Oh, that one's backwards. I can't tell if the red or the yellow and the green are in the right direction until I, they're facing the correct way. <laughs> red and yellow again with a red on the bottom. There we go. And then what? And then pink and red again, but that's the wrong way. Yes. And yellow. And then blue and yellow. Oh. Blue and yellow. Yes. And then red again. Oh, that was on accident. Okay. And then red and yellow. It's not that one. It's got to be this one. Yep. And then blue. And then blue. Yay! I just broke it. Good job, me. Ooh. And I got a shotgun. And a handle. Oh, it's going to combine items for me. That's good to know. A loaded shotgun. I'm sure this will come in handy. Okay. Cash register, lever, a shotgun, a gas mask. We are going to scare the hell out of that kid, aren't we? Can I just shoot the thing? No, of course not. Can I shoot this door? Oh, no, I have to find three keys for that door. What about this? Shotgun the wall! All right, so what next? I could shoot the light, but it wouldn't let me throw a brick at the light, so I don't know why it'd let me shoot the light. Peacock <laughs> shotgun, exactly. Nobody, ain't nobody got time for this. Uh, definitely can't shoot anything inside the car. I could shoot the bird, but that seems excessive. Am I going to shoot the poltergeist? Oh my gosh. Seems like I should have had a better plan for going in here than just shooting the door open, but okay. A froggy! I guess I'm going to find all the froggies. Keep a lookout for froggies. There's a badge sewn onto the outfit. Okay. Ah, and here's said cash register is missing buttons and the handle. Well, I have the handle. And I'm going to be a good person. Oh, another froggy. And not steal the money. You're not welcome here. Go away. We are warning you. Leave and forget about Raincliff. Maybe I don't want to. Also, you guys are making a mess. Jeez. Clean up after yourselves. Can't I have this knife? I could use that to cut the thing. Wow, this is weird. A jack. A bucket chained to the wall. I I don't know why I need a radiator. A pinball machine is missing a ball. Is that the whole pinball game? That's sad. And this is a coffee maker. I d why do I want to make a cup of espresso? Not a frog. I approve of the frog mystery items. I don't understand what else is going on here, but... Well, I found a jack, so that should open the gate. <laughs> Alright. There we go. 
I mean, it wouldn't open it that far. Oh, I remember this scene too. I've definitely played this before. I see traces of the panic that sees the town. A truck is overturned. Doors, something rather. I need to learn to read faster. Another frog. And what is this? A magnetic card. A rare lock needs a rare key. Okay. Does the lock on the grating require some sort of seal? Probably. That's how these games work. The manhole cover is shut tight. Okay. Yeah, I totally remember this. I don't remember anything about it, but I remember the visuals. The disc is firmly screwed to the door. It's also rusty. Not a frog. The glass won't break. I should cut it. I bet I could break that glass. You are not giving me enough credit. A strange cache. Where can I find a key? That's a fork. I need to drill out the lock to open the door. Okay, that's fair. An angel on a paper ship. There was, must be a way to collect it. The dirty water in the puddle is from melted snow. I'm pretty sure I could just pick it up. The charge is on. I don't dare touch that with my bare hands. Good thinking. I need to insulate it or I'll get shocked. Yeah, that's fair. All right, so I need a fork and something to get the paper boat out of the snow puddle because for some reason I can't do that on my own. Oh, that was by the mailbox, this puzzle, right? Yep. This is pretty much the same puzzle that I just did except with numbers. <sighs> except it doesn't give me a starting point. All right, let's see. Um... Let's try you in the middle. I guess that one doesn't go there. I guess. Oh, no, it doesn't because it has a one up there. Oh, I can't put it there. Okay, so this doesn't work. So do I have any other nines up? No, but I have, do I have another nine sideways? No. So let's just move these this way and see what that does. Four down. There are no four downs, so this one has to go on the top. I don't have any fives on the side, so this has to go this way. I don't think I should have been able to do that. A frog ghost! I want a frog ghost. A red key. Is that for this? Probably not. No, I need to pick that lock. Is that for this? Oh yeah, it's the heart key. And it gave me a gem. Why would it just lock do that? <sighs> and that is a straight razor, which I can use to open the cop's coat, I guess. Why did the music change to like sinister suddenly? Oh, never mind, it stopped. Maybe. It's like, I'm tired of having to do a puzzle to open the damn door. We're leaving right now. <laughs> a fishing pole and a sun. Well, I know where the... That was different. Oh, wait, I didn't see this. Okay. Where did the footsteps go? Did they go this way? A g -g ghost! It would be funny if all the games we played had ghosts in them except Haunted Hotel. That would just be very silly. This is a weird assortment of stuff. Okay, this is definitely not from the last game. <laughs> That's an artichoke. And then we need a carrot. And two masks. One. And two. And four birds. One, two, three, four. And a lock pick. I assume that's what those are. And acorns. And a boot. And a fish. It's a silly place to put a fish. And a saddle. And a bottle. 
and a map and a spyglass. Where's that carrot? Oh, they, right, we're back to the games that change the color of things, I forgot. The last game we were playing in, or the one before that, it had gotten to the point where they didn't actually change the color of the items they were trying to hide. So you could generally speaking find stuff just by, like, if it's a carrot, it's orange. Look for something orange. Why does that pharmacy have a cowboy skeleton in it? A warm milk in a bowl. Is there a person caring for the cats in Raincliffe? Well, if there, if there is, they're not doing a good job, is there? The rose from the Browns family's winter garden. Does its scent cause a comatose-like effect on living beings? Yes. Does intoxication cause amnesia? Yes. What is the concentration of venom in a single flower? What is the transduration caused by intoxication? Can the scent influence a human being? Yes. What on earth? It looks like notes were made during the- What experiments? Also, why is this a poster on the side of the pharmacy? There's so much to investigate, but it's easy to get poisoned from all the chemicals. I need a mask. The mouse is sleeping. His dream is so deep that he doesn't even move. The black rose is unusual in and of itself, but its intoxicating scent is even stranger. What is going on? Oh, he's got a creepy eye. The glass eye is stuck in its socket. I need something thin. I don't know why I need his eye. One figure is missing. It's gone to death. All right, let's look at the, uh-huh. Okay, sure. Well, there's the fork we need if they're gonna let us keep it. A dart, no, that's a fishing lure. There's the dart. A spur. Somebody just threw like everything at this game. So far we found a pirate in the cop's house and a cowboy skeleton in the pharmacy. It seems like, I, I, I don't know, people are losing their minds. Three eyes. One, two, three. A bandage. Uh, let's see, a clock hand. There's a clock hand. A horseman. That's a knight. Tablets, like tablets of medicine or like stone tablets. I'm guessing tablets of medicine. There's an octopus in a jar. That's a little weird. Wait, there we go. A cross. There's that cup and snake. Two molecules. Well, there's one of them. And what else? And then two umbrellas. There's an umbrella. And there's an umbrella. Oh, there's the cross. Okay, bandage. Oh, I missed stethoscope. How did I miss that? Oh, not bandage. Badge. I already read that right once. And then I read it wrong the second time. Okay, so badge, molecule. Right. Got it. And octopus. And a danger tape. And a naked fairy. And a creepy doll. Oh, there's the other molecule. That's a necklace or a ring or something. I've seen those on Etsy. And a badge. I still don't see the badge. Boy, I am having like one thing per find it game that I am just not finding. That's not a... Okay, it's... That's not what I was looking for. Okay, so now I have the fork, which means I can open the bottom of the lamppost, because that's a thing that makes sense. A start button. Is that for the cash register? What else do I have? A vial. A ba Oh, a basket for the cat. Isn't it, though? I guess I can put the cat in the basket. You think that cat's just gonna go in that basket? You do not understand how cats work. 
Okay, let's go bring the kitty back and give him some warm milk. Here you go, key cat. I don't know what that helped us with, but... Did the cat just puke up a key? Or was it in the bottom of the milk bowl? And now we get the skull ring for the glove compartment of the rusted car. This is a load of silly business. Ooh, look, cigarettes and a frozen water bottle and a slingshot. And I still need something to clip the wires, which I do not have yet. Okay, so a slingshot, which I don't have anything to sling it with. Oh, let me see if that button is for the cash register, which was over here. No, it wasn't. Where was it? Oh, no, it was in the, um, the diner. Okay, but we're still missing one more button. Okay. And there's nothing else here. I have an empty- oh, it's an empty bottle. I thought it was a frozen bottle. I have a vial and matches and a gun. I guess the poltergeist gave up after I shot the door open. It must have been afraid of me. Right. I need a hose to get gas out of there, but I don't know why. I need something to put the water or the water out. Something to put the fire out. I assume water. I need a hook for him. That's just the fireplace. What am I missing? Oh, I need something to pry his eye out, which I do not have yet. I need a ring for his nose and I need... Oh, is this the tool I need for that? Yeah, let me tell you how the brick would have worked just as easily, game. Now I have a tiny ball. Was that the other piece of this game? Maybe. Nope. Okay. It is definitely a piece of a game, though. Alright. Empty water bottle. That's rusty. For some reason, I can't reach that. Right. Okay, that's the other piece of the game. Cold water, but I have not- I have, I totally have something to collect it with. I should fill the bottle with clean water. Shh! <laughs> Alright, let's see. Angel. Haha, -ha. so I assume I have to get the devil in there and the angel in here. What's the trick? Okay. Oh, that's the trick. See, I can get her in here. But then I... Oh, I can get him in there. Okay. And inside is a bag of coffee. As it should be, I guess. Because everybody knows you have to protect your bag. Oh, no, that's not the thing I wanted. You have to protect your coffee in these trying times. It really is, isn't it? I don't know why I need an espresso. I do. It's empty, but I do, in fact, have it. Okay, I need a little bit of clean water, which I need from the fountain, which I can't get. Oh, the ball is for the pinball machine. Duh. I can't get the water from the fountain until I get a spigot. No, I can't go that way. Can't go that way either. And now I'm stuck. Oh, it's a magnet ball. Okay. That makes slightly more sense. I think. Oh, 
Oh, this is terrible. I have to do the same exact thing all over again. That's all kinds of irritating. That would not be a fun pinball game. And my prize is a screwdriver. <sighs> what did I need a screwdriver for? I don't want... I want that thing. Why do I need a heavy thing? Okay, so now I have a screwdriver. What did I need a screwdriver for? I needed a screwdriver for the window? Or something on the window? Yes. Screw will come off. It needs to be oiled. Psh. Ugh. Okay, so I can't do that yet. There's dirty water, but I don't know what I need it for. I need to drill out the padlock, but I don't have a drill. And I need something rubber or something to take that off. I do, I do. <laughs> this needs some sort of key card. This is just stuck. That needs a ring. I figured that one out finally. Oh, I need like a something or other. Can I use the screwdriver? No. There's something behind that wall. Meanwhile, that dude is still in there. I could probably just, like, talk to him through the glass. Oops. You know? Oh, I can use a screwdriver to get the eyeball out. Why? Totally could. You're a liar. Right, so I can't do that then. That's got gas, but I need something to... I can't get that off yet, right? Yeah, and there's nothing else in here. Just the notes and the TV that's on, even though the car seems very dead. Got all this stuff. Oh, I have... He needs a hook or something. I need to put the fire out, which I need the bucket for, which I need a cutter for. Oh, what's... It? Oh, I need a wrench for that. There's a bird. <laughs> I am confused. Alright. Go to the radiator next to the pinball machine in the cafe. Unfasten the bucket. Was it screwed on? I thought it was chained on. Wait, this way. I was already in the right place. Oh, it is screwed on. That's my bad. I don't want a radiator. It is. I didn't notice that. Now I have a bucket that I can fill with dirty water to put out the fire in the policeman's house. You know what? This game reminds me a lot of like the old Sierra games where you needed like eight things to do one thing. And you can't use different things for the... What on earth? Well, that's not good. Somebody just tried to squoosh me. No squishings. Squishing is not nice. Attempted murder! I mean, they have been warning me pretty well, so... It's not like I can say I didn't have any warning or anything. Oops, that's not what I meant to click on. I meant to click on that. And that. Alright, let's see. Four feathers. One, two, three... This man has a lot of feathers in his house. Bread cherubs there they are a heart and a moon there's the heart there's the moon cowboy boots that doesn't surprise me even though the cowboy is in the pharmacy place an iron two skulls one two definitely a lot of pirate stuff i had two dragons one is that another dragon no that's a glove Where's the other dragon? There he is. Two... Two knives. One... There's a hook, but that's not a hook hand. There's a sword. What's that? I don't know what that is. And two trumpets. Two trumpets is a lot of trumpets for one person to own. There's a violin. Where's the other trumpet? A crowbar! Can I have the crowbar? I promise I'll use it nicely, mostly. I will do minimal damage at best. And another feather. Crowbar. Okay, so I need a feather and a trumpet. And I'm not looking for either of those things. I'm... 
Oh, that's the trumpet right there. I don't think that's called a trumpet. It's a horn, but that's what they meant. And a feather. I get down to one last item in all of these find it's and I am just like baffled. So either they're doing a really good job, I am doing a terrible job, or they are cheating. <laughs> There's dynamite. I bet we could use that. Okay, I don't see a feather. Oh man, that I should have seen. Pretty good though, hiding it in the wallpaper. I got bread. Oh, for the bird! I'm like, what am I going to do with a piece of bread? <clears throat> I knew that. Throw the bread at the bird. And this is the last key. Okay. Now we get to let the poor kid out, and I assume he gets murdered by something instantaneously. Here is one of the missing um, witness to the events. Boy is in shock. He doesn't see or understand anything. There should be some way. Oh, that's why I need a coffee. Okay. With a cup, I could give the boy. Oh, it's a frog. And there's the other button for the cash register. Oh, I was just looking at that. Lots of clocks. Lots of tools I could use too. I guess that's all that's in here. Okay. Watch money on coffee on his face. <laughs> I don't think that's what they're going for. So now I have a thermos and the button for the cash register. Which I assume is going to give me a faucet for the drinking fountain? Alright, now what is this nonsense? Press all the buttons down. The number on the button is how far the line will travel before stopping. You can't cross lines. What? Oh, this is like that other game, except much harder. The one where it's got all the number or the arrows and you have to figure out, but it's just ones and twos. Maybe if I start here. Oh no, I have to start there. Maybe if I start here. Oh, incorrect. I think I start here. Can't cross lines. Okay, that would work, except for I missed the upper corner. Right. Hmm. See, I don't get why I can't- oh, well, because then it would go up too. So I'd have to get that too from the side, which means that would have to be the last one. No, it's not Eh, I don't feel like trying to figure this one out. I was right. It's the facet for the fountain. Okay, now we can fill up the water bottle. I don't know why we didn't just try like a sink in the diner. I'm sure they have a kitchen. Or we could have put whiskey in his coffee. I have no idea if that's how espresso machines work, but I'm pretty sure you're supposed to put the little thingy cup and you're supposed to pack it full of coffee grounds and put it in and then the water's supposed to fall down there. Oh, wake you right up. <laughs> okay. We're not going to soak him in hot coffee. Dude. What just happened?
in. <laughs> I mean, I suppose that's what we get for not having the thing on, but I did it on purpose so I'd have a good stopping place. But still, what the heck was that all about? Like, he drank the coffee and then everything got dark and we looked out the window and the guy in the mask drug him away. To question mark. I knew he was going to get got as soon as we revived him. That's how these games work. <laughs> yes, he did. But yeah, no, also in games where you don't have a partner like James in Haunted Hotel, whenever you find a person you're looking for, they're either dead already or they die right afterwards. Like there's no in between. <laughs> I'm sorry I invoked James. I apologize. Yeah, so I actually don't know what's going on with this game. It's very weird. Yeah, I've definitely played it before, but it's old. So I might have played it 10 years ago. I recognize the layouts of some of the pages, like that one alleyway I remembered instantaneously, but I have no idea what the plot is and I have no idea what's going on. And I'm still confused as to why it keeps mentioning a radiator because I, I don't know why we would need a radiator, but what do I know? So I guess that's it for today. Next time we are going to do Grim Tales, which I need to write down how my life works because I don't remember if we finished that game or not. <laughs> Did we finish Grim Tales? I can't remember. If we didn't finish it, we came close to finishing it. Okay. We, we were close. And then... Oh, that's right. I forgot. Right. Okay. So we're going to do the Grim Tales. We're going to figure that one out. And then after that, we're going to play Mystery Case Files and it's going to be Ravenhurst. And I'm excited because Ravenhurst is really cool and absolutely bonkers and has stupid hard puzzles in it that are so much fun. So yeah, I am excited to do that one. That one's still pretty old school. Hopefully it will not be as small as the last two Mystery Case Files because that burned our eyeballs from trying to strain to see what was going on. But it's still pretty old, so I cannot guarantee that. That's pretty much it. I think playing Ravenhurst and Raincliffe at the same time is going to mess with my brain considerably. But that that's not your problem. That That's my problem. And I guess that's it for the moment. That was fun. I have to get my button gear and post some stuff to YouTube. I'm like a month behind. It's really sad. And I gave myself a month, like, to catch it up because I totally didn't post any of the things I did for Christmas. <laughs> I just skipped them. So I had, like, a month of buffer, and I'm still a month behind. So you can tell how the beginning of my year is going. All right. I'm Fate Touched, and I will see you later. Bye!